today, May the 19th, 2020. It's my last day at Palmetto Dunes, Holton Atta Holland. We were at a Carolina. Tonight's gospel reading is from John 16. But now I'm going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. That's a fairly complicated gospel lesson. Jesus is saying that because he is going to heaven, because he is going to ascend, that is good for us because he'll be united with his Father, but he's giving us the Spirit of God, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And this gives us the grace and ability to follow God closely and to live in those graces. And that is demonstrated in today's first reading, which is from Acts chapter 16. To make a long story short, Paul and his companion Silas were beaten to a pulp by a mob and they were thrown in jail. And when they were in jail, they started singing and preaching the gospel. And that caught the attention of the guards and the other prisoners because they were so full of the Holy Spirit. And during the night, there was an earthquake which tore down the walls of the prison. And actually, the fetters on the prisoners were all removed. At this point, the chief jailer is about to kill himself in despair, believing he's in trouble and responsible for this jailbreak. And Paul tells him in a very loud voice, don't do it. And then the man, after a conversation with Paul, a conversation obviously under the influence of the Holy Spirit, the jailer says, how can I be saved? And so Paul baptizes the jailkeeper and his entire family. And this all started with a beating followed by a jailing. All of this being done by Paul and Silas with lots of prayer. So the Holy Spirit is there if we ask Him to be there. The Holy Spirit is there if we're willing to listen. The Holy Spirit's always there. We're just usually distracted and not paying attention. Jesus has left us in the ascension and He has left for us the Holy Spirit, the Counselor, who shall teach us all things and bring into remembrance everything that he has taught us.